Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Underground Pro Wrestling. Tonight we've got a packed card for you. Starting things off, we've got El Espejismo in singles action. He's making his way towards the ring at this point in time. This episode's coming off the heels of our First Blood event, which is on YouTube now. Be sure to check it out on the channel. Espejismo is looking to climb the ranks here in the men's division, as is his, as is his opponent this evening. time of this recording we are working on adding some new talent which we may not be able to debut until after this current event cycle so not for the next say, month or so. So it's definitely some some new developments that we have working to add to our product here. So what that ties in with this match is that the Wins and losses are going to become even more crucial, especially for those looking to move up in their divisions. So he's Mo's opponent this evening is Monster Heel. Making his way to the ring now. The towering behemoth that he is. Monster Heel is in a foul mood. After coming up short in his previous tile pursuits. Monster Heel, very much the powerhouse in this matchup, whereas Espejismo is going to have to use his speed and his agility to try to try to take down the much larger opponent. But Monster Heel can be beaten. In fact, he usually struggles with smaller opponents and and can be taken down. the opening bell and immediately you see the speed on display there by Espejismo. There's a spin kick to the midsection. Springboard going for a trade DT had to get quite a bit of air just to get the big man off his feet. Kind of punches back and forth between the two men. Mr. Hill looking to the corner and then eats a drop kick from Espejismo. Oh, look at the strength on display there with the slingshot power bomb. Before the referee can even start the count, Monster Heel gets his shoulder up. Monster Heel tumbles out to the floor. This Mahismo rolls out. He gets kicked away by, by Monster Heel. Nice jawbreaker there. Oh, and a nasty headbutt there by Monster Heel. He then steps on Espejismo. Espejismo catches the foot and hits him with a dragon screw. Series of strikes there by Espejismo backing Monster Heel up the entryway. Monster Heel gets back in the ring. Every count to six. 
That's what he's going to use when he gets back in the ring, but it's caught. And I'm also just slamming him down. Ooh, nice clothesline there by Espahiz Mill. Just the second one. Ducks under the clothesline and with a pop-up drop kick. Knocking Monster Heel down. Also going for a Jimmy DT, no countered by Monster Heel. to the midsection there by Espahismo. I'm not sure he'll look back to the corner again and it eats a clothesline from from Espahismo, but next to come out of there taking Monster Hill off his feet yet again. And this is kind of what I was talking about earlier. Espahismo can use his, his speed and his agility to his advantage as he has thus far. Nice hammerlock there and then going for an arm breaker. Cover. One, two, kick out two. The lights have gone out and immediately Monster Hill back up to his feet. Oh, and a reverse choke slam, taking down Espahismo. Now just vice gripping the, the head, squeezing him at his temples. Seeing the vicious side of Monster Heel come out now that he's back in control. Oh, running back elbow there by Monster Heel and then stomping away at the midsection. Slingshot out of the corner. Ooh, so he's going to avoid. Monster heel and then catch some of the springboard drop kick. And then for that fake out back back elbow, but both men miss. Monster heel now. Scooping slam into the ropes. And for hitting the ropes is one thing, but it's just the nasty landing afterwards that you have to contend with. That's but he's not able to get back to his feet and hit. So. A hurricane rod to take Monster Heel back down. Monster Heel rolls it up to the floor. Espahismo with a suicide dive through the ropes. Uh, cranking on the head and neck area of Monster Heel. Another hammerlock. Another arm break for this one on the floor. Well, blocked the kick. Mr. Hill eats a series of elbows to the midsection. There was a knee in response. Big punch to the midsection there by Monster Hill. After count to eight, Monster Heel climbs back in the ring. Espizmo slides back in. A nice monkey flip out of the corner there by Espizmo. Going for a cover. One, two, only a two count. Nice counter there by Monster Heel putting Espahiz in the corner. But Espahiz fights out. Nice going back over there by Espahiz while taking Monster Hill off his feet. I'll go up to the top rope here. Monster is slowly getting back up to his feet. Big top rope drop kick there by Espahiz just like that, Monster Hill kicks him away. Oh, Monster Hill's big body splash in the corner. 
as he gets himself back in control that quickly. Picking up the best, but he's knowing. Oh, another reverse choke slam. Now, driving the knee directly down to the canvas. Monster heel going up top. He doesn't do this very often. Big splash. Oh, gets taken down with the double leg. Oh, another running back elbow by Monster Heel. So he's now trying to get Monster Heel into the corner. Puts him with a pair of forearms. I was possibly going for the moonsault. And there's the double jump moonsault by Espejismo. He's not making the cover, taking too much time. One, two, three, but he still gets the victory. This diner is pulling a switch on the regulars by serving new instant Maxwell House. What's it taste like? Fresh perk coffee, that's what it tastes like. New instant Max, now a better blend of coffee beans freshly perked for more fresh perk taste. We call it the perky instant. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Underground Pro Wrestling UPW here. We've got tag team action coming up for you next. I'll be very interested to see how this match plays out. As it's the first tag match that the Ministry of Pain has been involved in since being fined a few weeks ago. smiles you see from Brother Boogan. He really doesn't have all that much to smile about considering that he's the reason why they got in trouble in the first place by attacking the referee in their last match. Not only did it cost them potential opportunity at the tag titles but it affected their win-loss record and cost them money. Brother Adams there, very stoic as well. It'll be interesting to see how the two rebound opponents this evening are the Marauders. You see Archer and Mondo there. Two bigger guys, but well, one really big guy and one somewhat big guy <laughs> in terms of their size
Marauders looking to bounce back in the attack division as well. There's a bit of turmoil in our attack division at the moment, aside from the the Ministry of Pain essentially being suspended, more or less. You know, that affected their run of the division, but also we don't have an actual tag team champion declared yet because the uh, title match at our first blood event ended in a, in a count out. I mean, there was no champion to retain. Neither, neither team technically won the title. Strikes here between Brother Adams and, and Mondo, who's starting off with their respective teams. Oh, Adams off a kick to the leg there by Ronda Mondo, excuse me. Mondo answers with the knees of the midsection, though. Tag is made, in comes Archer. Over a double team here with a big double axe handle across the arm of Brother Adams. Oof. He's an elbow to the face though, and in response, Archer hits a big clothesline taking down Brother Adams. Adams getting back into the match though, fighting his way back up to his feet. Tag made in comes Brother Boogan. Double team attempt here. Slingshot the big man. Oh! It's a big forearm and then a slingshot elbow drop. Very unique offense here by the Mystery of Pain. Stomping on the midsection there is, is Brother Buchan. Tags right back out. You gotta wonder if Demonia, who's been very successful in her run thus far, has had words with the uh, with the rest of the ministry. Ooh, step up. Knee strike followed by a poison Rana spiking Archer down. In comes the cover. One, two. Mondo makes the save at two. Ooh. Archer caught the foot, then caught an Enziguri upside the head. Brother Adams now. Gonna stop to but gets caught on the apron by Mondo. I clipped him with a bit of a cheap shot there. The count to one there and Archer is thrown onto the apron. And a triangle drop kick there by our brother Adams. He then tags brother Boogan back in. And Boogan goes over and immediately hits a stun gun on on Mondo, taking him off the apron. He's going after Archer, but Archer catches him. Oh, ramming him back first across that steel barricade. Gardner really just made up of, of metal bike racks. If you count to five, as both of them get back in the ring. Big right hand there by Boogan. That mirror. All about basement drop kick to the side of the head. Ugin tags out, but he gives an opening to Archer, who makes the tag to Mondo. Says press there by Mondo, who just rains down a series of right hands on Archer, or excuse me, on, on Adams. Running Centon there by Mondo onto, onto Adams. Oh, it hits him with that running cross chop to the face. Both men out on the apron. Both them get back in the ring. Mondo gets Adams up on his shoulders, but Adams escapes. Adams now drags Mondo back to his corner there. Tag made. Double team here. Oh, nice assist there by, by the double team. The Boogan and Adams, not suplex by Boogan. Jawbreaker there. 
big knee left to the midsection of Mondo. You notice that Boone again walking towards the referee. If you're very careful, we can might you know, attack him again, but right now he's just showboating, giving Mondo a chance to make the tag, and he does. Kick to the midsection, almost at the little low there, but oh, there's the Dragon Slayer. Modified Dragon Sleeper. And a tap out. Mondo not saving his partner. So interesting development here as the Ministry gets a, a submission victory. With the success of the recent Apollo space flights, Man has been brought another step closer to the moon. Aboard these manned Apollo flights, three astronauts, and with them, Tang. Tang, the energy breakfast drink with rich natural flavor and more vitamin C than orange juice. Still, Tang's biggest role isn't in NASA's space program. It's right here on Earth. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to UPW Underground Pro Wrestling here. Got some women's division action for you up next as Carla Perez makes her way towards the ring. She's currently 0-2 on this season. Looking to get her first victory and move herself up in the women's singles division. Same can be said for her opponent tonight as well. Her opponent is the ever powerful Madame Oni. Um, Oni also hasn't won any matches thus far this season, so she'll be looking to get her first victory as well. And again, very similar to our opening match, this is going to be a contrast of styles. Someone who's more of a high flyer taking on someone that's a very definite powerhouse. There's the opening bell. And immediately the strength of Madame Oni on display, but the agility of Perez as she escapes. Oh, gets shoved down right away though. Twist around to the apron and then dragged back in the hard way. Oh, big headbutt by Madame Oni. Knee drop misses though. And again, Perez trying to use her speed and her agility. Spring ball to Mill, ripped to a crossbody, taking Oni off her feet for the moment. I gotta believe that Perez is gonna have to show some aggression here and stay on her opponent if she wants to win. Thus far, it's been working for her. Ooh, series of right hand punches. To the face, oh, and a slap. Odin rolls out to the floor to kind of recollect herself. Gets caught with a forearm strike, but then immediately hip tosses Perez on the floor. Perez, though, throws right towards the barricade and starts raining down punches again. Count to three as Perez gets back in the ring. Only follows after her though. Immediately gets Perez up on her shoulders, but Perez fights free. 
Almost to the jaw. Now, looks only into the ropes. So a drop kick doesn't take only off her feet though. Oh, a big shove there by Matamoni. Kick to the midsection there by Perez. But reverse into a back by drop by Oni. Big spine buster. Nasty cover. One, two, oh. Well, it could have been three if Perez didn't have her hand on the bottom rope there. Oh. Back elbow there by Perez to fight free. Oh, now both those trading shots in the middle of the ring. Heavy right hand to the back and forth. Oh, counter by Perez. A big shot there by Oni. Counters and then overhand shot. Oof. Oh, just trading back and forth and there. Big kick there by Perez. Oh, sit down DET. Taking Oni off her feet. Now pulling Oni away from the ropes, going for a cover. One, two. Oof. But only a two count as Oni's able to kick out. Oof. Face first off the cam and like off the canvas as uh, Perez goes up top, twisting moonsault into the cover. One, two, no, another near fall. Only able to kick out two and a half. Local fans here loving this action. Her neck break. Nope, countered by Oni. Big snap mare off the ropes and then diving crossbody off. Oh, just flattening her like a pancake. Oh, a nasty knee left to follow it. Dragon screw by Perez. Trying to stay in this matchup here. Kick to the midsection. Going after the arm. A high angle arm drag off the ropes. Showcasing a bit of Lucha Libre style in there. Perez is taking too much time, giving Oni a chance to get back to her feet. Oof, both ladies miss with their attacks. Oh, Bossman style slam by Matamoni. And there's the death grip. Looking to choke out Perez, but Perez fights free. Up, drop kick there by Perez takes on the upper feet this time. Oh, nice modified, uh, kind of almost like a, a leg sweep there. One, two, oh, another near fall. It wasn't quite a Russian leg sweep, but it was a sweep nonetheless. Not going for a head scissor takedown. Does so. Lights go out yet again. This time it's Oni that's behind Perez. Just like a scene out of a horror movie. Ooh. Back elbow there by Perez. She's able to clothesline Oni off her feet when he rolls out to the floor. Perez now. Going for a dive. Oh. Dives crossbody through the ropes. Nice up kick there by Oni though as she pushes Perez away. Oh, follows up with a nasty headbutt. But Perez answered with a jawbreaker. Oh, nice side racing lace sweep there. Jumping 
elbow drop there by Oni. We count to seven here. Pitching this section by Perez. Oh, uh, code blue on the floor. And Perez gets the count of victory after that code blue on the on the floor, keeping Matamoni down. Somewhere back at the dawn of history, man discovered roast duck. Man's next discovery, the stubby stomach. Centuries will pass before he discovers something to unstop it. When he does, he will call it Alka-Seltzer. Its bubbly alkalizers will neutralize his stubby stomach. Too late for him, but not too late for us. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to UPW Underground Pro Wrestling. Time for a tag team match in our women's tag division. Up first, you've got Jasmine Chase making her way to the ring. Her and her partner are looking to get their first victory tonight, as are their opponents. Tonight's a chance for a lot of people to get their first wins for the season. That's been the theme for the episode. Everyone wants to build up their their wins, get a possible title shot at our next event at our next event, excuse me, which is called Revenge. If you haven't checked out our first blood event, please sure to do so. It's on the channel right now. A very big event for us. I'd like to hear your feedback on it. Mariah Russell on her way to the ring next, the tag team partner of Jasmine Chase. Very uh, eccentric young lady. Technically gifted, but also a bit colorful with her tactics at times. tonight. First up we have the high flying Amira Gold making her way towards the ring. It's a very exciting young lady. A lot of fun to watch. Gold looking to gain some gold in her near future. As mentioned before, she is a more uh, high flying style. Very, like I said, very exciting, very uh, energetic her partner. More of a powerhouse, but deceptively agile for for her frame 
That's Melissa Gonzalez making her way to the ring next. UBW is going to become the destination for a variety of different female wrestlers. All shapes and sizes, all, all styles. One of the things we'll be proud to do is welcome in some of the newer talent here in the next month or so. Looking to expand all divisions, both men's and women's, singles and tags. So again, these matches are going to be very crucial to building up one's win-loss record before the new talent arrives because once they arrive, it's going to be even more challenging to climb up the rankings. There'll be more names and they'll be harder to build your averages. There's the opening bell. Looks like it's Amira Gold taking on Jasmine Chase to start the match off. There are strikes there by Jasmine. Nice roll through and hits a super kick on the chin. On the chin. Snap to the elbow there. Nice hook and out of there by Amira Gold. Oh, <laughs> and knee lift. Just to, to show Jasmine that she's not afraid to fight dirty too if she has to. Nice arm under there by Jasmine. Oh. Tag made in comes Mariah Russell. Hey, close on there. there. Sort of strikes there by Myra. And a big poison right off the top rope. Distracted here with some technical difficulties. Back to the action. Big scoops on no escape there by Mariah, who sits a reverse DT. Oh, double team there. As Jasmine tags back in, tag made to Melissa is able to get in, but gets caught with a drop kick immediately. Oh, and a slap to the face by, by Jasmine. Jasmine attacking Melissa while she's down. Chop taking Melissa down. Tag made back to, to Jasmine. She comes back in yet again. Oh, 
Oh. Jasmine with a drop kick to Myra Gold taking her off the apron. Alyssa gets back up to her feet. It's a shore arm clothesline. Holds onto the wrist. It's a second shore arm clothesline. And a third clothesline taking. Taking Jasmine off her feet. Throws him back up. This calls a snap suplex. Tag made to Mariah. Melissa now picking Mariah up and cut her down with the backbreaker. There by Melissa, who was caught with a kick in the midsection. And a Moffat Dragon Sleeper. Melissa now firing back right hands to break herself free. Big series of rights. Back out of there by Mariah. Melissa now dragging Mariah back to her corner. Tag made, in comes Amira Gold. A jawbreaker there by Mariah, who was caught with the, with the stun gun on, on the top rope by Melissa. Cover now, one. Only a one count. But Jasmine still comes in to make the save. Kick to the midsection there. Into the Dragon Sleeper again. This time it's on Amira Gold. She's able to fight free. Back out of there. Chop avoided by Amira, who's now. For a unique rather back suplex cover. One, two, ooh, only a two count. Tag made, in comes Melissa Gonzalez who hits a big body shot on Mariah. Mariah fires back with a few elbows to Melissa's main section. Now going up. Oh! Power bomb into almost like a neck whip. One, two, oh! Two and a half. Mariah barely kicking out the last moment. Mariah now dragging Melissa back to her corner. It's a back elbow for trouble. Oof, big drop kick there by Mariah. Oh, there's a chop, but immediately gets caught up and put down with the shoulder bomb. Cover by Melissa. One, two, three. Melissa gets the pinfall after a big shoulder bomb. Maxim freeze-dried coffee brings you six exciting summertime uses for your percolator. We do this now because it's time to enjoy a tall, frosty glass of iced Maxim and use your percolator for other things. For a refreshing summer change, try iced Maxim. You may never perk again.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Time for the main event of this episode of UPW. Another singles match here for the men's division. We got Deal Jordan making his way towards the ring. High Flyers not seeing much success this season, but looking to rectify that problem. The opponent tonight is Paul Burns, also looking to bounce back after a handful of losses to start the season. Both these men competed in the King of the Gauntlet match, uh, King of the Gauntlet championship match. Um, neither one walking away with the championship, but looking to certainly stake their claim as potential contenders for that championship as well as others here in UPW. There's the opening bell. And Paul Burns now looking to power a deal against the ropes early on. A deal showing some surprising strength. Back dropping Paul out to the floor. Oh, the powerhouse is. Oh, delivering a head up between the shoulder blades. Elbow there by Ideal. Then Paul right in the jaw. Paul scoops Ideal up and drops him throw first against the top rope. Oh, big hip drop to the chest. Oh, but elbow dropped by Paul Burns. Picking Ideal up and then just launching him. Big veal toss. Arm Raider there by a deal, fighting his way back into the match. Gets caught with a kick to the side of the head. Another big deal toss there by Paul, almost throwing the deal into the referee. A deal relying on his speed with his striking ability. And hitting a basement DT onto, onto Paul Burns, but Paul avoids the tope from a deal going out to the floor yet again. I'll go out to the floor after him. The deal catches him with a spiky T on the floor. Auburn's thrown back into the ring while Deal takes him out to pace himself. Every count to four, telling Deal he needs to get back in the ring. Oh, gets back in, but gets caught with the. I have a running avalanche splash by Paul Burns taking him off his feet. Another elbow drop to the chest. Went for one more, but Adil gets out of the way this time. Kick to the shoulder there. The forearm strike to the back by Paul Burns. And a big spinning power slam. Dropped by Paul Burns onto Deal's arm. Oh, a right drop kick there by Paul Burns. 
and doesn't get off his feet very often, but oh, he devastatingly does, running back over there. Up kick there by Adil, though. Flipping burns into the corner. Nice running clothesline. Going for the satellite DT and connects it. Taking burns off his feet. Adil going up top now. They're taking a little too much time getting ready. For that inverted 450. Cover. One. Two. Oof. Kick out two by Paul Burns. Adil may have given him a little too much time to recover. Nice hits are takedown there by Adil. Burns pulling himself up in the corner. It's caught with a running forearm. Springboard cross by there by a deal. Giving Paul Burns a taste of his own medicine with an elbow drop to the chest. Uh, falling up with the one to the back. Standing moonsault there by a deal, showing his athletic ability. Goes up top. Burns rolls out to the floor for a moment. Back in now. Kicking a deal up onto his shoulder and dropping him the snake eyes in the corner. Big hip drop there by Paul Burns. Catches Gale as he comes in, gets him up on the shoulder. Big power bomb. Cover. One, two. Oof. Near falls refuge was way out of position. Nowhere close. Burns now running back in with the back elbow that misses. It's at east one from a deal. Same shot powered on out of the corner. Oh, jumping cutter there. By a deal cover. One, two. Oof. Kick out two and a half. Springwood moonsault by a deal. Now goes up to the top rope. Ooh, going for a diving for the late drop or senton perhaps, but it's nothing but canvas as Paul Burns gets out of the way and then military presses him down. Oh, big avalanche attack. By Paul Burns taking a deal down yet again. A deal with the upkicks, pushing Burns away. Nice cutter there, or excuse me, neckbreaker. Jumping neckbreaker, I should say. A deal goes up top once again. Okay. Inverted 450, one more time, into a cover. One, two, Three and a deal gets the victory over Paul Burns.